Hey everyone, this is Smriti. Welcome to QA Automation Classes. So, last session we have seen how to install Git on your system and how to verify if Git got installed successfully or not. So, if I open the Git bash and type Git space hyphen v, it will show me the version of the Git that we have installed. This is the exact version we have downloaded and installed on our machine. And this you can also verify by going to the C drive, program files git and you can see cmd and here you will have the git.exe right so now we got git uh, installed on our machine uh, we have to configure it with IntelliJ right so let's open IntelliJ and see what is the version of the IntelliJ we are using for this tutorial and how we are going to integrate it with the IntelliJ so this is the community edition we are using for IntelliJ 2023.1 so let's wait let it load okay so this is our previous project on the java streams okay so let's go to the help and uh, say about so if you see here uh, this is intelligent idea 2023.1.4 community edition july 12 2023 so this is the latest one that we have as of the current date Right. So that is the latest version of the community edition of the IntelliJ idea we are going to use in the entire series. Okay. So close. This is close. Okay. So now um, this is the latest version of the IntelliJ. We have to configure the IntelliJ with the, our Git that we just downloaded and installed to our system in the last session. We have seen that. So how to install that one or integrate that one with the IntelliJ? So for that one, you go to the file and uh, say settings okay so if you see we have the different different settings over here right appearance and uh, there is one setting called version control and in the version control we have the different different setups right git uh, github mercurical subversion svn right so we are going to work with git so click on the git and here you can see the path to git executable this is path where you are in your local drive it is installed just now we saw it is installed in the c program files git cmd within that we have git.exe that's the folder we saw just now right c program files git within the cmd we have git.exe this is the executable file right so this path we have to provide if your IntelliJ is not able to detect this path you have to give this path over here click on this one and navigate to that path and give okay but here it is automatically detecting so i'm good okay so sorry go here and say test okay so when you set test it will go and uh, show you the version of the git that is installed on your machine so it says git version is 2.41.0 so we are good right this is what we have in our machine 2.41.0 right so both are matching so our git is now configured with intellij so we are good to go so now let's say okay okay so in the next session we'll start seeing how to create the project and uh, how to uh, do the commits and all right and how we'll push that project to the uh, remote repository thank you everyone